Nerf Alpha Hawk review. This blaster is in the new Accu Strike series, uh, and I think the Accu Strike series will launch in 2017. Right now, uh, it is 2020. I don't know what year it will be when you're watching this video. If it is three years ago, uh, so it is 2020, 2019, 2018, uh, 2017. So three years earlier, uh, uh, the, the AccuStrike series was launched, which shoots the AccuStrike darts, but they are compatible with Nerf Elite darts. So continue on. Now, um, so if you're watching this uh, video one year later, um, the uh, I think it will be. Um, uh, um, what was that? Uh, four years late, uh, earlier, the AccuStrike series was launched, so you can like do some some math. Three years ago, in 2020, right now it's 2020. So uh, three years ago, before 2020 and 2017, the new AccuStrike series was launched, and it's these darts are much more accurate. Let me show you one. One second. We don't need that. Hey, get out of here! You get out of here! You get out of here! You still need. Now it has a rotating cylinder similar to a straw dart. Now these darts actually have special properties which allow them to be laser accurate. Because the little grooves, they interfere with the air and they direct the air straight streamlined around the dart so it goes in a straight line. Because those LED darts have the little holes which decreases the accuracy. And I don't know like who designed LED darts. I don't like the person who designed, I don't like the design of that person's uh, elite dart because they like they are super inaccurate but I wouldn't load up on these active strike darts because they are a bit expensive so Hasbro please if you are watching uh, reduce the cost of these active strike darts I love them they are quite accurate and now going over the externals now this is a spring powered uh, bolt action sniper rifle it actually is a sniper rifle with a, like a fixed stock and uh, a barrel with speed holes and everything. And then strike tack wheel at the front uh, for a, like a bipod because a bipod would be you know, important for the stability of your sniper rifle because this is actually a sniper rifle. And you would most likely want a long bipod like the Centurion bipod because I because you should you have to tilt the blaster this much up to like a lot to like to you have to tilt the blaster this much up and then look down there's a little iron sight over here it's like a little ring sight over here which you you have to it, uh, you have to tilt it up just to, uh, to uh, like to shoot your dart in a straight line because with, uh, with an, uh, even an accu-strike dart even though it's not an elite dart after the dart leaves the barrel it'll lose its kinetic energy and then it'll eventually fall down the like it'll fall down a little bit so you have to point it a little up and then it will go like this and hit the center of your target. That's some basic like simple math I guess. Or nerf dart methodical methodology methodology me me mythology yeah mythology. Simple. It's quite well, like simple. You can actually do this at home like measuring accuracy strike darts and against like any dirt like you can do a comparison video just like me you can make the youtube videos yourself also because i this is a home channel where i make videos at home this is not a professional channel but i do make videos anyways now i have attached a little ammo holder thing i've written ammo at the, over here and taped it on but this is not included with the blaster otherwise it's just a dirt. i think uh, what is it written i think it's nothing written it's just some gray plastic like the straw and I just attached a little pouch which I found. Uh, it was written, I think, Geo over here. So I added that little ammo sign. I don't know why I drew an elite dart over here because AccuStrike darts are stored in it. But just because mostly in Nerf Wars, I don't want to lose the, uh, the AccuStrike dart. So I use elite dart. So I made the elite dart. That's most standard dart. So anyways, going over. Now it's written N-Strike Elite engraved. No, not engraved actually. Uh, the opposite of engraved, it's like sticking out cloth. And this little Alpha Hawk logo, which is actually texture. It's like standing up a little bit. And the Nerf logo is also standing up. And Active Strike logo is also standing up. And this one also standing up. Uh, and But on this side, nothing. This is also standing up, actually. This is also standing up still, but not black. Uh, the only thing which is not on this side is the Alpha Hawk thing. There are the like safety instructions.
Anyways, now to prime the blast for it's like it, it's like a bolt action sniper rifle. You pull back the bolt like that and release it. You can also do like this. And to pull the trigger, there's a trigger over here. This is your trigger. This is your trigger guard. This is actually the most comfortable thumb hold style, especially for adults. And even me, I, my hand can still move, like my wrist can move very freely and it's pretty comfortable. And even for adults, it's quite a wide thumb hold stock, not like any other toy guns, which have super like cramped thumb hold stock. This is actually very comfortable for everyone, like all sizes. And you, if you want, you can actually attach more iron sights to your blaster. This is not a component with nerve cells. I found it around this house, but it has double-sided tape, which I which I put. And I realized it can be a great iron sight. So uh, you can put it at the front over here, and then align like with these center markers, these little arrows at the side, these little the little arrows at the center. You can align your like uh, your the little like, and on the iron side are these little crosshairs. So you can align these side crosshairs uh, with those uh, with these little arrows, and you can align the center with this little hole at the end because you have to tilt the blaster up a little, as I said, to align it. So you'll be able to see the hole a little bit. Like if I put it here, if I you, if I tilted it up, I can see the little hole over here, so I can align it with the center and then have a perfect alignment. That's how it works. And um, there's a little speed hole over here. They don't actually do anything. And the cylinder can actually pop out. So similar to the strong arm of the Maverick. Uh, I think the Maverick doesn't do it. I don't know. But the cylinder pops out. You can rotate freely. Like you can rotate it freely like this. Oh. Oh my. I can't do that. Like. But you have to keep this button pressed. And then you can open the cylinder like that. You are easy to reload it, like you can reload like this because if you have like a dart and you're trying to push it from the side, I guess you can push in a dart, but you might dent the dart also. So I recommend you do it like you pop out the cylinder and load it as I just showed. But you can also breech load this thing. You can use the barrel as your breech. You can push in the head of the dart and then push it in and let grab and then go to the empty barrel and let gravity get it down and put your finger in this little gap. This gap is not on this side, it's plastic, but this gap, you can press the dart down and now you're ready to fire. Or you could just drop in a dart from the top part, it'll fall and you press it in. It's simple. And um, also this little cylinder is like the Spectre cylinder, uh, except it's not Tower Prime, it's the uh, bolt action sniper rifle field. The stock is pretty uncomfortable, the iron sight is pretty good. I'll show you how I'll attach my other like alignment iron sight, but uh, there's an end strike tack over here. And obviously a scope grill, which sniper rifle doesn't have a scope? Of course, the Raptor Strike doesn't have a rail at the top. <gasps> This, this Raptor Strike is a sniper rifle without a tag rail at the top. I would just change out the Rapid Strike for the Alpha, put the Rapid Strike bipod, put the, and replace, cut out the stock and cut and piece the Rapid Strike stock. I mean, like, what? what? No tag rail for a sniper rifle? I mean, on the Alpha Hawk, there is a tag rail, but on the Rapid, uh, on the Raptor Strike, there's no tag rail. Like this, the Alpha Hawk, which I'm reviewing right now, is like the little brother to the uh, to the Raptor Raptor Strike, and it doesn't have a tack wheel, and it's a sniper rifle. Hello, please just upgrade the Raptor Strike to an upgrade like where it has a tack wheel. So, or I would just like uh, mm, like uh, like tape like or duct or duct tape like you can use duct tape for anything, right? Anyways, now uh, you also have the little screws. This can be disassembled into two. I can actually see the little line, which is cut. This is cut into two pieces, so you can modify the spring and everything. Uh, it's basic modifying. And there's also this. Uh, this actually, uh, this is actually intended not to be used like this, but to be used off the stock. But I would use it like this, even though it, it, I can still align it like this. Anyways, continuing on. You can actually store three darts in here and store another dart in the sling or lens mount and store another dart inside, I think, uh, the, uh, inside, I think, 
uh, over here I guess you maybe you can squeeze in a dart in there but don't dent your dart over there I don't recommend putting ammo anywhere on this blaster except you can attach a little ammo thing like I did and uh, it's simple you just prime it you just pr you load the cylinder by popping it out you load up your you load up your cylinder you push it back in you prime your bla you prime your blaster and then you fire. Pretty simple to use. Now on to the firing demo. And I will carry uh, the camera to the firing demo. So uh, you might get a little bit with my finger because I'm carrying it like this. So the camera might get my finger in the way. Oh yeah, now it's not. A little bit of my finger, but that's not much. So now that's my new shooting range. Okay. Yep, that's my new shooting range. Now you should be focused on the blaster itself. Now, I, uh, I'll use the iron sights. Fire in the hole! Wasn't primed. Wasn't primed. Fire in the hole! Sometimes, actually I saw some Amazon comments take note that the cylinder doesn't rotate sometimes. M many Amazon comments say that. So it's a design flaw, I guess. I don't know. That was awesome shot, awesomeness. But sometimes it does rotate, and sometimes it does not, but only one time it does not. All the ammo. Now that you have seen the active toy gun, I will try out some Nerf Elite darts, uh, just for comparison uh, to the old uh, Elite darts and the, active, the new active toy darts. Uh, we will reload the uh, LED dart. Now I'm even show you how to reload. Uh, I have three more LED darts. The similar capacity, I think, to the hammer shot. Actually, it's the same capacity to the hammer shot, except the cylinder pops out like the strong arm. So it's actually like a mix of the hammer shot, and the spectre, and the strong arm. Like three blasters combined into one alpha hawk. That's how you roll for it. Prime it. Make sure you're fine. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! That, that was all me. I didn't try. I, that was a little bit of cram guard, but... That's okay. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I will put this lampshade on you. Now you can aim at me like with a pinpoint sight. Or maybe I should aim with this. This is a very good aiming spot. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fire in the hole has been done. Except I have one last dart left. I love the bolt action. It's a true snipe rifle, even more than the rapid Raptor Strike, uh, because it has the attack rail at the top to attach scopes and a bipod rail, just like the rap. Actually, you would just add the accessories, like the uh, bipod of the rapid of the Raptor of the uh, Raptor Strike, and cut off the stock with a knife or something, or like a chainsaw, and then put on the rapid the Raptor Strike uh, stock, which holds a magazine in the back. And then you would pretty much have a rapid strike, except it would have a tack rail and a cylinder and not magazines. Hey, why would you even need an extra magazine if your blaster doesn't take it? Or maybe you would just, uh, uh, like, just, like, cut off a tack rail, just buy a tack rail, or maybe a Picatinny style rail from Worker, like a Picatinny style rail with Worker, and buy their awesome scope from Worker, and then attach them onto your snipe. My opinion is super high, I love the cylinder. I don't like the Spectre's top prime action, because I'm not like that powerful, like, for top priming action, but bolt action is pretty smooth, like, and stock length is pretty comfortable for me. Uh, uh, and unlike the retaliator stock, 
and the Nerf logo, the Alpha Arc. I love the name and the cylinder system which pops out. I love the cylinder. I love cylinders. And it's actually a mix of the Spectre, the Hammer Shot, and the Strong Arc, all like into one blaster. Except uh, I put this little ammo thing, and now I will attach my new um, iron sight just to like show you how I will attach my new iron sight. Okay, I'll not show you how to attach this iron sight. You just put double-sided tape on anything which aligns with it and then you like put it on this and you can put it wherever it aligns like wherever it aligns. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. Oh, for certain reasons you can't actually comment on our videos. So you can comment on our other video, the cat and the donkey story. Link in the description box below. Now, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment to the cat and donkey, uh, and buy the alpha hawk. And the link in the description box for the cat and donkey. And bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.